to day 39 of Bless the Nation 50 Days of Prayer. God is always looking for humble, obedient and willing servants with great faith to bring about His purposes for a nation. In Uncle Angus, God found such a person, and we are all privileged to be witnessing history in the making. It is therefore a huge blessing to be inspired by Uncle Angus's devotional who encourages us, according to James 5 16, to rise up in unceasing prayer and declaring blessing over every sphere of our nation so that this blessing will overflow into Africa and the ends of the earth. We greet you in Jesus' name. Folks, we are praying. We are a praying nation. That is for sure. And um, I really want to ask you to pray a continual blessing over South Africa, starting with the government of South Africa, starting with the people of South Africa, different racial groups, different colors, classes, creeds, everybody, old and young, male and female, a blessing over the nation. Because God has visited and is continually visiting this beloved country of ours. And this blessing, we pray that it will go right into Africa, right up to the north of Africa, in fact, into Europe and into the Americas and Australasia. In fact, the whole world. We want to thank the Lord for His ability to use ordinary people like you and I, because you know what the Bible says very clearly in James chapter 5 and verse 16. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman avails much. Who is righteous? We are righteous in Christ. Romans 1.17 And the righteous shall live, the just shall live by faith. And you and I are doing exactly that. So we have the authority and we have the permission and we have the responsibility to pray for this nation. So I would encourage you to continue to pray. Pray at home. Pray at work. But you see, prayer is a lifestyle. You don't set aside a time, you pray completely and all the time. It says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, I think it's verse 18, pray without ceasing. So you pray when you're in the bath, you pray when you're on the rugby field, you pray when you're cutting down trees, you pray, you pray wherever you are. And God, it must, it must become a lifestyle, my friend. Even after the 50 days are up, we need to continue to pray. And we just thank God for Dave and for the whole team that's put this together. God bless them. Goodbye. Daily Prayer Guide In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless the performing artists in our nation. Father God, thank you for giving us so many actors and actresses that confess your name. We pray for these men and women who are all role models to our younger generations to publicly take a stand for Jesus Christ and for a moral lifestyle of purity, integrity and holiness. We ask for forgiveness for use of the name of Jesus Christ as a curse in movies and TV dramas. Father, please convict our actors and actresses of this sin against you. We pray this blessing over all our performing artists. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for you shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for you shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for you shall be full. Blessed are the merciful, for you shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for you shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for you shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for your great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Matthew 5, 2-12 Prayer Walk or Drive Theme parks, drama theatres, movie theatres, etc.